All right, we're at the Hydros Plus Proving Grounds once again. We are on a 2810-1025R with a Stage 3 Hydros Plus Performance Kit. We've got the backhoe, uh, Bucket Plus backhoe cylinder here. And we've got a 16-inch bucket. This is the one from John Deere. And you know, the big reason probably to get the backhoe cylinder, well one reason is if you've already uh, bet yours, if you bet yours I can sell you one that's more powerful and that has a one and a quarter inch rod for less than you can get one from John Deere, certainly less than you can get one from John Deere. Right now they're on sale but probably won't be a whole lot longer. So the 16 inch bucket here is makes digging quite a bit more fun because you get a lot more dirt but as you can see it's real real dry here so and I've yet to stall this bucket out I've done some a little more power to push down, huh? Let me see if I can put as much. It's just so dry here. It's running about 3,000 RPM, so. I don't know if I'll focus on getting any additional cylinders for this backhoe, and the reason I say that is problem you run into with the backhoe is whether or not you have enough um, enough weight, right? So if I make a big, uh, bigger dipper stick cylinder, that might be good for a few things, but at the end of the day, it's going to probably end up just pulling your tractor around. The bucket's a little bit different. One, again, we're trying to solve for the fact that a lot of these cylinders are bending, and I don't know why. I don't think it's operator error. I don't actually think there should be anything you can do short of, you know, having a loose bolt or something like that that would cause you to bend your, one of your cylinders. But they are bending, so. But the other reason is with this, uh, with the bucket, see if I get down here, let's see. Let's see if I can try to get more weight on it. Uh. Nope. With the bucket though, if you can get it dug in, when you do the curl action, you don't necessarily pull yourself towards whatever you're digging. If you're out like this, and you do it, it'll pull you a little bit. But, when you get down here, doing this, and you can't, I mean, so far, outside of a tree root, I have not been able to stall this bucket out in the dirt. It'll, when you get in there, it is going to curl. You can see this is a really hard ground. backhoe with hydro plus it is going to be hard to not have one in the future it's on, honestly hard to remember 
what it was like before I had one with Hydros Plus because everything I have has Hydros Plus. Basically what it would be like at wide open throttle with the stock tractor. Now keep in mind, we do have a bigger uh, curl cylinder on this. And so that slows things down for you. But this is how slow it is at wide open throttle. No, don't pay attention to the curl cylinder again. But as you would come through, I mean, to run, you can, at wide open throttle, you could run two and three, uh, about three, you could run two functions at once, but you can see it's so slow, it's hard to even wait on it. And you have to be real good, and I'm not real good, but just to get, Two functions to work and the big challenge is that it's so slow that you basically what you end up doing is you go down scrape down curl scrape curl scrape and so that it would lift fast enough you can't you can't reposition yourself or I never could at least when I first had it like this. Now I can probably do it just a bit, but again, this is wide open throttle. I really want to be running my backhoe at about 2,500 RPM, personally. So at 2,500 RPM, you're definitely not doing this. Now, based on the way the stock setup was, when you were at 2,500 RPMs, at least as a percentage of your overall flow, it wasn't, the difference between 2,500 RPMs and wide open throttle wasn't as big as the difference is with Hydro Plus. I don't know if that makes sense, but. All right, so there's, there's what it would look like wide open throttle with stock. You can see it just jerks and stops. So if we, we're on stage three here, if we go up to 2,500 RPM. This is simply 2,500 RPM, but the tractor's just purring right where it wants to be. So as you can see, that speeds up things significantly. And when the biggest speed difference you see is actually the multiple functions at once. That's really the important part. And this is where uh, most people who get stage three are probably gonna be running their backhoe like this. I like to go a little faster than this, about 3,000 RPM, which is what we were doing a little bit earlier. Um, that's just me, but as you can see at 2,500 RPMs, you definitely have plenty of speed, plenty of power. this back, some of my dirt's falling in the hole there. Man, 
that extra power. I, I don't know, I'll have to go back to the old one because I feel like I can feel it. But it, it is, you know, even on paper, you're talking 20, like 27% more power, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this is one big cylinder. I say it doesn't sound like a lot, it sounds like a lot, it's 30% almost, a third more. But to me, this is definitely noticeable. just doesn't quit which is more like what you get so like with a maybe like a once you get up to about an 8,000 pound mini X you really have you know all the weight and power you need at least to be digging in dirt if you're digging in things that are real rocky or tree stumps a little bit different and you know then if you don't want things to stop you want things, metal things to start breaking, you gotta get up into like a 20,000 pound excavator. But you know, you're not breaking any buckets, typically, with an 8,000 pound, 10,000 pound excavator. This is just, it's just fun. I don't know to tell you. No other way to say it. Running the backhoe goes from being a job to me to being fun whenever it does what you ask it to. Because you have to think about it. That's where it gets annoying to me. I'm not wired, I'm not a planner. I plan, I have to plan my bucket movements. It's gonna be problematic for me. See how we can pull and just rake through here. And then when the dipper bucket stalls out, you got all of that power, even with a 16 inch bucket. And this is some hard soil. It hasn't seen water in a while. So that's it for this video, giving you your first look at the Hydros Plus Bucket Plus Cylinder for the 260, 260B, or 270B backhoe. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, or you can reach out to us at hydrosplus.com. Thanks for watching.